you know what it tells you that your thing may be clogged up your clothes are getting too hot it smelled they smelled burnt and they did for a long time and uh you get a whole lot of extra lint catching in your lint trap and that's all those things were happening so so i figured there would would be some you know lint in the uh I mean, something in there, locking it. I can see the edge of that. It doesn't look so bad. Yeah, no, there's nothing in there. And I can see now that my room would have came all the way up. I think I see scrape marks where maybe the bristles... It's a plastic broom, so it'll kind of turn over which way. But I think I see scrape marks. So I don't think that port's clogged up. The top port may very well be just fine as well. Uh, I think they did say the one that I, I thought was such that really helped me. Uh, he gave you a good overall how to figure it out was about four, four or five, four to eight different brands, you know. And he would have a, he would make like little progress for each brand. But anyway, um, he. Uh, what was I trying to say? Um, I went blank. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. For, oh, I didn't plug it in yet. Now it's not coming on at all. Oh, it's in the off positions. That that fools you see. I'm gonna sit down and see if it ever heats up. <coughs> Guess I'll just kind of do that. Do that. There we go. Give me a little, little bit more room to get around there. I don't. Got to keep on checking that it's recording. Yeah. Something I tried to throw away was in the floor again. Whatever it was, plastic off of something. Now it's not. But the thing is, is let's see if it, that Elma does that again. Heats up again. It, uh, if the heating element was, you know, bad, melted in two, they'll melt all the way in two when they go when they go bad. Uh, well, I could have checked that for an open circuit. But if it was, I don't think it does because it wouldn't be heating up at all. But it heats up sometimes when this is still got time on it. See that move that far? Still got time on it. I sprayed Rust Buster back there already, but I just I didn't hit my bearing because it never quit making noise.
there's a, a spot where he can go through about just go. My whole my, my thing keeps coming off. I wonder if that was happening because I was sticking my straw in there. Oh. I don't, you know, I just realized that's not, I don't think that's my. Uh, bearing making noise now that that rattly noise I forgot I keep forgetting about that there's a uh, I mounted a wheel in there to keep the drum from going too far back because first time the uh, the bearing wore out I couldn't figure out how to get the dryer apart and that was years and years ago and there wasn't stuff online to tell you how I looked I'm just gonna stick it in the off position. Uh, and I finally found, then they came out with the stuff to help you, and I got it apart. But, uh, I think that's, now I've gotten grease on my gloves and everything. I don't know if I already, I may have already touched the camera with the greasy gloves. I don't remember, I wasn't. Always all that alert about what I was doing. I better get them off. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> so. Uh, probably no matter where I go, I'm going to be too tall. So I can't tell if I'm oh. This thing has that kind of deal, dummy. This thing has the kind that you can do that with. And I can get this far back. Okay, so, uh, oh, I'm going to wait until, do some more research, think about it, and what I had figured, if I was going to really take it apart, Need to go ahead and put that new bearing in there. I've got it. And then the, and if I put the thermistor, I may as well put the thermistor in there if I'm going to take it that far apart. But if I figure out those can be gotten to without taking the drum out, it'd be easier to take it out, though. I mean, to get to them with it out. But you have to, uh, to get the drum out, you've got to lift this all up like I had it and then take this front part completely off. Uh, it's not super hard, but it's not easy either. Once you know how to get it out, the trick is <laughs> grab it, grab that belt and pull up on the drum, and then you you get it out of there. And then it had there's a, a bar across here. Well, this whole area. Well, once you get this off, there's a bar up here that that you oh you can't see where I'm doing. Anyway, you still have to slide it out the front. You don't come out the top. You might be able to get it out, but it'd be a real pain out the top. Plus, you gotta lift it up. You know, it's not light, and you gotta lift it up really high. It's fine to get it. It's really quite easy to get out the front. I mean, you just gotta be careful because there's sharp edges, and if you gotta get it tilted just the right way, once you get it going, you, you'll get it out. And that's kind of the way most brands are. Even if they have uh, controls on the front, I was watching a different another video. Sometimes they'll give you a video of the same brand but a different model. You know, of instructions. But if you it's not the greatest, but it, it, if you if you get familiar with them, you realize, okay, yeah, it's really basically the same procedure, you know. But uh, uh, okay, so I'm gonna turn off the video now, and yeah, I'm not gonna do any more. <laughs> I got a box of. We got a. I don't know if that came in the video, but there's a box of huge box full of soap and all kinds of things. Now, it's so heavy that. Well, I could tell the bottom would, could come out real easy, but it was so heavy with all that stuff. 
There's another little box on top of it. It's so heavy that I was just about all I can lift nowadays. Oh yeah, you can see it. It's been in the picture the whole time. Anyway, I gotta put that back. Okay, so I'm gonna go and uh, we'll see how all this goes. Bye.